National Trade Center site, a series of arches has sprouted in recent days. The outline of an underground pedestrian passageway that will one day connect the planned World Trade Center path hub to points west. This will be a corridor which will connect the path hall on the West Street to the World Financial Center. To get there, workers will have to blast through the western slurry wall and tunnel under West Street. But for now, they're busy setting 47 of these arches in place. Contoured in design, set atop rounded columns, the curved arches may seem familiar. They reflect architect Santiago Calatrava's vision for the entire transit hub with its curved forms and a bird-like structure above ground. Here, the idea is to create an airy space. When complete, shops will line the north side of the corridor and the curves will be prominent. That is one of the signature components of the Calatrava design. Um, they'll, you'll see them, they'll be exposed. They'll be, the concrete slab will be above the, above the arch or the rib. Um, there'll be lighting in between the ribs. Calatrava's original design for the hub was scaled back once because of security concerns and again earlier this month when the Port Authority announced the hub's winged roof will no longer open and close. But officials say the corridor taking shape here is a sign of progress. It's a very positive step here on the project because you're actually starting to see what this thing, the vision, where, where we're going. As for the transit hub itself, the Port Authority is still reevaluating the design in order to bring the project in on budget. Originally scheduled to be complete late next year, the completion date has been pushed back to 2011, and officials warn it could be pushed back even further. In Manhattan, Bobby Cusa, New York One.